Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the LCM of two numbers using a listing strategy. And what LCM stands for is lowest common multiple. Now let's reflect on each of these three words in working out what the lowest common multiple is. And let's use this example here where we're trying to find the lowest common multiple of 8 and 12. Well, let's first think of the word multiple. If I have multiples of eight, that just means I have a certain number of lots of eight. If you think about how the word multiple is used in the English language. So if I just have one lot of eight, I've got eight. If I have two lots of eight, I have 16. Three lots of eight, 24. Four lots of eight, 32, etc. Now, if we do the same for the other number, the 12, and we list out a few multiples, well, one lot of 12 is 12. 2 lots of 12 is 24, 3 lots is 36, etc. Now let's reflect now on the word common. So if it's a common multiple of 8 and 12, that means it's going to be a multiple that's common to both of these lists. That is, it's a multiple of 8 and a multiple of 12. It's common to both. Now, what number is common to both these lists? Well, 24 is common to both. And therefore, 24 is a common multiple of 8 and 12. Now, the word lowest just means we try to find the lowest common multiple that we can find. Because 24 isn't the only common multiple of 8 and 12. Uh, 48, for example, is a multiple of 8 and a multiple of 12. But it's not the lowest one we can find. So what the strategy is here is that we can list out multiples of both and then just find the smallest number which is common to both. But in fact, you don't even need to list the multiples of the smaller number. What I generally do is to list the multiples of the larger number until you see a multiple of the smaller number. So I would just list out multiples of the larger number, 12. So multiples of 12, we've got 12. 2 times 12 is 24. Is that a multiple of 8? Yes, it is, so we can immediately stop. And we'll use this same strategy here for the second question. So let's follow this instruction here. We're going to list out the multiples of the larger number, which is 20, until we see a multiple of 15. So what's one lot of 20? 20. Is that a multiple of 15? No, it's not. What's the next multiple of 20? Well, 2 times 20 is 40. Is that a multiple of 15? No, 40 is not in the 15 times table, so we have to keep going. What's the next multiple of 20? Well, it's 60. Is 60 a multiple of 15? Yes, it is. 60 is 4 times 15, and therefore that is the lowest common multiple.